The Ford Maverick had a huge impact on the pickup truck market. An affordable pickup truck that looked amazing? Of course it was going to do well. However, the dynamics of the market are about to change with the introduction of the Maverick's first direct competitor, the Toyota Stout. This upcoming Toyota model is expected to bring a complete revolution to the compact pickup segment, offering new features, improvements, and potentially addressing some of the criticisms faced by the Ford Maverick. Join us as we discuss how the Toyota Stout will solve six huge problems in the compact truck segment. The first problem the Toyota Stout will solve is the issue of reliability. Over the years, owners of the Ford Maverick have raised numerous complaints about the various aspects of the vehicle. Specifically for the 2022 Ford Maverick, the NHTSA has received more than 144 customer complaints. Since the Maverick is a relatively new model, the majority of these criticisms have come in the last few months. One of the most common complaints owners have reported is the brakes either do not work effectively or exhibit a sticking behavior when using the Eco Mode. These problems have been mentioned by multiple drivers, especially at low speeds. Further investigation reveals that Ford acknowledged the brake-related concerns and issued a technical service bulletin to address the reported issue of grabby brakes. According to a later review from a driver in Maryland, it was found that reprogramming the powertrain control module and the smart OBD module C at a Ford dealership seemed to resolve the brake problem. Despite these attempts to address the brake issues, it is worth noting that many complaints regarding the brakes of the Ford Maverick are still listed on the NA HTSA website, indicating that some owners are still experiencing concerns even after the suggested fix. Ford has also issued six recalls for the 2022 Maverick so far. One of the recent recalls involved unintended brake light illumination, which could potentially confuse drivers behind the vehicle. Another significant recall affected a total of 64,974 Maverick trucks due to the improper deployment of an airbag. This safety concern was addressed to rectify the issue and ensure that the airbag system functions as intended intended during a collision or accident. Additionally, there was a recall that affected a considerable number of Maverick vehicles, as well as Ford Escape and Lincoln Corsair SUVs. This recall, impacting around 100,689 units, addressed the risk of an engine compartment fire, specifically for the Maverick trucks equipped with the 2.5-liter HEV or PHEV engines. The recall aimed to address the potential fire hazard and implement necessary corrective measures to ensure the safety of the vehicles and their occupants. All in all, the company that used to build cars tough has not got a great reputation for building them tough anymore, but Toyota's reputation is still intact. With the Stout, we expect the reliability that Toyota is known for. Toyota's reliability is supported by data from iccars.com, which indicates that over the past 30 years, Toyota and its luxury brand Lexus have had the second fewest recalls among all automakers, with only Mercedes surpassing them in this regard. Although the Stout will be a brand new model, it is likely to be built on proven technology technology and engineering principles. The Stout is also expected to share many parts with the current generation of the Toyota RAV4, which has been in production for several years and has established itself as one of the most reliable SUVs in the market. The next issue Toyota will solve with the Stout is production capacity. The Ford Maverick has experienced an overwhelming demand that has surpassed Ford's current production capacity. The compact truck made a significant impact upon its launch, generating immense interest from consumers. The high demand was so intense that Ford Ford had to close order books shortly after the vehicle's launch due to the overwhelming number of orders received. As a result of the unprecedented demand, there have been widespread reports of delays in delivery. Many customers have expressed frustration with the extended wait times and perceived lack of communication from Ford during the entire process. The internet is filled with complaints from individuals who are experiencing delays in receiving their Maverick trucks. The scarcity of dealer inventory has further compounded the issue, making it nearly impossible to find a Maverick available for purchase at dealerships. For those who are fortunate enough to find one in stock, they will most likely have to pay significant markups on the vehicles due to the high demand and limited supply. The combination of production constraints, delays in delivery, and limited communication has resulted in a frustrating experience for customers eagerly awaiting their Maverick trucks. It is important to note that these challenges may vary depending on individual circumstances and regional availability. This shouldn't be the case with the Toyota Stout due to Toyota's production capabilities and its position as one of the largest 
automobile manufacturers globally. In 2020, Toyota indeed produced the highest number of vehicles worldwide, with 9.5 million units, with the Toyota Stout being based on the successful RAV4 platform, which is introduced in multiple plants across the world, it is reasonable to assume that Toyota will leverage its existing production facilities and processes to meet the demand for the compact truck. The Stout will also solve the all-wheel drive issue. If the Toyota Stout is indeed built on the same platform and shares many components with the Toyota RAV4, it is reasonable to assume that the powertrain options might be similar as well. The RAV4 currently offers a hybrid powertrain option based on a 2.5-liter inline four-cylinder engine, producing 219 horsepower. This hybrid setup is known for its efficiency and performance. In terms of drivetrain configuration, the base version of the hybrid setup in the RAV4 powers the front wheels only, similar to the base version of the Ford Maverick. However, it's worth noting that the Toyota RAV4 does offer an all-wheel drive AWD variant as well. This AWD option provides enhanced traction and stability in various driving conditions and is available in the world's most popular SUV, the RAV4. The Stout will also be an upgrade in terms of exterior design. Currently, one common complaint in the small truck segment revolves around the aesthetics of vehicles like the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. Many people feel that these trucks do not possess the desired visual appeal expected from a pickup truck. In contrast, the Toyota Stout is expected to address this concern and offer a more visually appealing design. Digital renderings indicate that we can expect a combination of classic pickup design elements with a bold and rugged appearance enhanced by unique styling details. Some of these details may draw inspiration from vintage SUVs and pickups, such as the iconic Land Cruiser FJ45, which adds to the anticipated charm of the Stout's aesthetics. In addition to its attractive appearance, the Stout may also cater to a broader range of customer preferences in terms of configurations. While both the Maverick and the Santa Cruz are currently available only in a crew cab layout, the Stout is rumored to offer a utilitarian single cab long bed configuration as well. This potential option could make the Stout a suitable choice for farmers, small businesses, and other customers seeking an affordable small utility vehicle. Another issue the Stout will address is safety. Now, while the Ford Maverick is a safe vehicle, the company could have added some more driver assistance features. The base model of the Maverick offers basic safety features such as forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, and automatic high beams. Higher trim levels provide additional upgrades like blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and adaptive cruise control with lane centering. However, compared to some other vehicles in its class, these features may not be as extensive or impressive. In contrast, Toyota has a clear policy of equipping its base models with a comprehensive set of advanced safety and driver assistance features. It is expected that the Toyota Stout will follow this trend. For instance, the Toyota RAV4, which could serve as a reference point, comes standard with features like traffic sign recognition, pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, and lane departure warning with lane keep assist. Furthermore, optional features for the RAV4 include advanced technologies such as a surround view camera and a digital rear view mirror. Lastly, the Stout will bring competition to the compact truck segment. Currently, there are only two compact trucks on the market, with the Ford Maverick and the Hyundai Santa Cruz. However, the Santa Cruz is often seen as more of an SUV with a pickup body, which differentiates it from the traditional compact pickups. The dominance and high demand of the Ford Maverick may be attributed to the limited competition in the segment, with fewer alternatives available. Ford may have faced less immediate consequences for any issues or criticisms related to the Maverick. However, the entry of new competitors like the Toyota Stout and potentially others can introduce tougher competition to the compact pickup market. This increased competition could potentially change the dynamics for Ford, forcing them to address any reliability issues in a more effective manner. With more options available to consumers, Ford may need to prioritize improving the overall reliability and addressing any customer concerns promptly. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.